go ahead and input this folder here and I'll just select everything, control A. Now Reality Capture, if you're not familiar with it, this is actually owned by Epic Games as well. They were, they were purchased by Epic, I believe last year. On the left side right now, you're gonna see all of our photos, which looks good. Everything is good to go. And really the next thing that I have to do here is just change the settings for my alignment. So I go to alignment, go to settings, and I'll check this check mark or this plus box. I changed this default settings here. So just do 25,000, 100,000 low. You don't have to copy the same exact one. You can experiment uh, on your own. So after that, we'll just go to align images and this is gonna do its thing. Now it's pretty crazy. With 46 cameras, you can potentially scan someone and have like a scanning studio. And again, one of the things that I foresee in the future is one day we're gonna have like malls or maybe go to a grocery store and we'll have like a 3D photogrammetry, kind of like how we have photo booth now. I mean, that would be super cool that we can just kind of walk in there and get a 3D scan, like 46 pictures, and then, you know, convert ourselves into 3D. So I just gave you all an idea for you all out there who's trying to make some money or start a new business. Go ahead and do that. You know, put those in malls. 3D photo scan. So you can see right now, this model is sideways, but that's all right. I'm going to bring this to Blender anyway. All right, so I'm just going to make sure all our actual reprojection box is good to go. Make sure that everything is covered as far as her head, which is good. Looks like nothing is taken out too much. All right, so I'll go ahead and bring it back here. Again, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, on the right side right here, there is a quick start guide that I'll actually walk you through step by step which is really freaking brilliant. So if I go right here, go to quick start, I'll continue on and it's gonna teach you what to do step by step. Now, obviously I have a couple of extra stuff, but if you can follow along or you can just read this here, it's pretty cool. Now, what I'm gonna do next is go to workflow because I will now go ahead and calculate this. I'll check this um, and I'll click this drop down, and I'm gonna do normal quality. And again, this is gonna calculate the reconstruction. All right, so as you can see after that's done, the photo scan images we had, even though it was only 46 pictures, it did a pretty darn good job as far as skating the facial shape and a little bit of details in there. So we're gonna use this. And if I go to component zero right now, this is our model. Go down, click down right here. You're gonna see that it's seven parts and it's 10.27 uh, million triangles. So what I'll do now is I'll kind of clean it up a little bit and just simplify things, all right? So I'm gonna go to my mesh model and I'm gonna go ahead and clean the model. I'm just gonna use some automated ones. And then what I'll do is I'll shrink it, unwrap it, and then texture it. So that is perfect. So I created another model, which is still 10.2. So it didn't really get rid of a lot too much, but that's okay. We're gonna go back to our workflow and I'm gonna click on Simplify Tool. Now, you're gonna see the Simplify Tool right here. I'm gonna change this to Absolute Triangle Count. I'm just gonna make this like 2 million. One, two, three, four, five, six. I believe that's 2 million. And I'll leave everything by default. Uh, normal reprojection, yes, I want that enabled. So let's go ahead and press Simplify. Okay, so once that's done, it's gonna create another model, which now an absolute 2 million triangles. So that's what we're going to be working off of now. And I'll just go ahead and get rid of this. Or I can click this right here to kind of not select that so we don't have too much stuff right here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is actually unwrap it. Now, again, I'm not a professional at photogrammetry. This is kind of just like the workflow that I kind of saw that worked last year. So I'm going to go to Mesh Model, which they changed. It used to be called Reconstruction. I'm going to go ahead and click Unwrap. And let's see our unwrap settings here. I think they were still good from last year unwrap everything is good all right so yeah i'm gonna leave everything as default and i'm just gonna click unwrap the model's ready to texture it yeah sure we're gonna retexture it after okay so now you're gonna see that it's checkerboarded so that is unwrap now so that's good that's what we want to do uh, what we'll do now is texture this thing okay and as you can see this went ahead and textured our model. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do before export is actually retexturing it so that we can get some of the textures from model number one. All right, so let's go ahead and turn off unwrap so it's not too confusing. Then I'm gonna to go to tools and click on texture with projection. And what we're gonna do is the source model is gonna be one and then the result model is gonna be three. So what else that's gonna do is gonna take all the good quality 10 million, 10.2 million, quality texture and bring it to our 2 million there. So that's what we want. Normal reprojection is good. And now I'm gonna click on reproject. And here we are. Look at that. 
It's really neat. Looks pretty cool. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll check that. And what we'll do next is go ahead and export this. So it's a 2 million. So that's good. We're going to go click here, export. And I'm going to export as an OBJ. It's a lot easier to export 2 millions up in OBJ. But if you want to use FBX, you can if you want to. So I'll just go to OBJ. And I'll just title this girl. Now, so one of the cool things about reality capture is you're only paying for your exports and you don't have to keep paying if you're just exporting the same thing. The software is absolutely free and you just pay for export. I think this costs, I think like 78 cents or something like that. Don't give me a lot to you, but it's really not that much per, which is still pretty cool. So we're going to export it into one file or my version is Wavefront. All right, so everything's good. Texturing, so make sure we have everything. Export textures, yes. And so I don't want it to export as a single texture because we do have normal layer right here. Okay, so I'll press OK. All right, it looks like we are finished in 24 seconds. So I'm going to file import Wavefront OBJ. Okay, so we have her in here now and she is all flipped all kind of weird way. So I'll just click her and then I'll go, I think it's this one. Yep, so I'll go ahead and rotation to zero. So she should be sideways like she was in the uh, in reality capture. And what I'll do is I'll just rotate her negative 90. And what I'll do is a set origin to geometry origin so she'll be right in the middle. She looks like she's facing the X axis. All right, so sponsor time real quick. Uh, if you haven't done so, go ahead and check out my How to Make a Movie in Unreal Engine 5 Beginners Edition in Gumroad. You don't need a mocap to do this. I provide you the uh, actual body animation files in the course. You might need an iPhone, though, if you are going to try and follow along with the facial animation. So go ahead and make sure you read the description of this course. And if you want to support the channel, this is the best way to do it. So she is facing the X axis right now. So what I'll do is I'll rotate her so that she's facing the Y. So I'll click the model again, R, Z, and I'll just press 90. But as you can see, that's not really correct. So I actually have to rotate it and line up her nose pretty much. And that should be good to go. So if I go to X, it's good. She's actually facing the right way. Okay. So let's go ahead and select her and file export fbx and i'll just name this to meta i think i already had a test one in here yeah i do so go ahead and click on mesh we'll include an amateur make sure this is changed to smoothing to face and then i'll export this fbx all right so let's go ahead and drag her in here and i'm just gonna rescale her to 0.1 because whenever they come from blender sometimes they're like ginormous <laughs> so play with the scale there i didn't obviously scale it in blender correctly so let me go ahead and just scale that down some and what i'll do now is just show you how to enable that plugin if you haven't seen any videos on it it's called meta human right here and we'll add that identity title scan double click and then we'll just find that mesh and here she is very very cool okay so what I'll do next is just click Unlit, so you can see it a little bit better. And click on this neutral pose, press plus, right click, auto tracking, and hopefully this is gonna get caught. Wow, all right, so that did a pretty good job. And I'll go ahead and click on Identity Solve. And then I'll pick a body type for her and then click on Mesh to MetaHuman. Her MetaHuman is now available, so that is good. Let's go to Bridge then. And you're gonna see this MetaHuman creator Go ahead and start MHC. And by the way, for the people who are having issues connecting, make sure you all are actually logged into your Epic account. If you're getting stuck in that loop, try that. If you do that, just try a different browser as well. Our photo scan character. Pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and click edit. I'll stop this so she'll stop moving. And let's go to custom mesh. Actually, I do need to play that to see if we get the eyelid problem. Looks like we have some issues in there. So let me go ahead and close this down a little bit. There you go, that's a little bit better. Perfect, maybe a 0.5? No, oh, it's still there. So let's go to 0.4. Okay, so that's pretty good. Her head is definitely wrong because that's kind of like a weird shape. So I'll just reset that to the template and again, her forehead as well. 
for the actual shape of your meta human, you're gonna have to tweak it again in here. So I'll go ahead and enable editing, unlock only, because I want this shaped a little bit better. Press stop. Now I'll turn on our sculpt here, and this head right here is a little bit too big, right? And again, this is your preference here. So I'm not gonna spend too much time in here. Let's go to skin and sign a skin for this girl. I think she was a little bit lighter. Crazy. So much fun, look at that. That is so cool. And now we just have a unique meta human face, just like that. That looks pretty good right here. And let's see if we can epic ray trace this so you can kind of see it. To think nowadays we can just do this with a bunch of pictures and reality capture like for 86 cents. The future is looking so darn good. So we can actually make her older if we want to, you know? That looks pretty cool. I don't like perfect skin. You know, if you look in the mirror, especially for me, you're gonna see a lot of imperfections and that's what sells it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that and we'll give her a quick hair. And that's pretty much it. So let's see what kind of hair will look good. I really like this hair, the short braids up too. So maybe a side sweep. Maybe we can give her a Trinity haircut. Nah, that doesn't look good on her at all. Maybe this one. That's cool. How about the uh, Harry Potter one? There you go. That looks like... I'm going to turn that off. That looks like it's a good fit. Well, that's it, guys. That's all I got for you all today. That's how you turn photos into 3D and into a MetaHuman using the Mesh to MetaHuman plugin for Unreal Engine 5. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers this year, and I really do need your help.